don't know, uh, my name's David, I'm the proud father of the bride. I'm not speaking for long, so don't worry. Um, but this will be the first time in 35 years of marriage I've actually spoken for more than 10 minutes without being interrupted. That's what you think. <laughs> yeah. On behalf of my wife Tina and Rob's mum and dad, I'd like to thank you all for coming and celebrating with us today. Uh, as I'm sure you can imagine, it's taken an enormous amount of planning, effort um, uh, to prepare for today, uh, finding a venue, deciding on the food and drink, sending out invitations, um, the seating plan, finding the right dress. None of which had anything to do with me at all. Um, <laughs> but I'd like to thank those who it did have something to do with. Um, now, I've had very clear instructions from Tina not to embarrass Sally today, um, who I think you will agree looks fabulous. It's, it's actually nice to see her in a dress for a change. <laughs> even if I didn't get Tina in one. <laughs>
So <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to make the most of it. <laughs> Uh, the wedding, as many of you know, has taken over our lives for the, um, the past few months and I genuinely yeah. hope you're all having a fantastic time tonight. Um, we, and by we, I mean Sally alone, has planned the whole thing, all right? She spent so long sorting everything for today and um, the only thing she hasn't been able to oversee is, is the speech itself, so... <laughs> Firstly, my wife and I have some important thank yous to make. Um, Tina and David, first of all, thank you for welcoming me into your family. Um, the way you have, I truly couldn't wish for better parents in law. Um, Sal's got such admiration for you, and over the last 18 months or so, it's been such a whirlwind, and you've been people keeping us grounded um, and supporting her at every step, so thank you. Tina, um, I've come to realise how you and Sal are so close. Um, you're, you're pretty much best, best friends at times, okay? We talk about absolutely everything together. <laughs> And I've got to be careful with that because it's literally absolutely everything she tells you. Okay. <laughs> You've been a huge support to us since Phoebe's been born and we can't thank you enough. All right? I'm not sure whether I'm scared or excited about the prospect of Sally growing into a similar version of me <laughs> in years to come. <laughs> um, David, you've treated me like another son the past few years and it means the world to me. I know how much you both mean to Sal and the way she looks up to you. Your love and support has built her, and built her into the amazing woman and mother sitting here with us, um, so thank you. Dad, thank you as well. Thank you for always being there. No matter, no matter where in the world you find yourself, you've got the amazing ability to make us feel loved and supported. Okay, and that's a skill, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> you've taught me so much independence throughout my childhood. To the main event, Sally. Sal, Sal, Sal. Right, where do I start? Firstly, I want to say you look incredibly beautiful today. Uh, you don't, I don't say this enough to you, but I should, okay? You take my breath away and I just don't think you realise what you mean to me. <laughs> You're without doubt my best friend. Um, you support me and stand by me through everything life throws at us. Um, you're ruthlessly honest and you love us so strongly. Um, family means everything to you and I'm privileged to have you at the centre of mine. Um, for those of you who don't know, me and Sal, we first met at a place called Fairthorn Manor, which we mentioned earlier, a lovely outdoor centre um, where I lived and worked out with a great group of people. Um, soon after I started, Sal and I began to catch each other's eye. Um, I think they have a saying, persistence is key, right? I think, I think Sal must have asked me to be her boyfriend on several drunken occasions before I finally came to my senses <laughs> and, and, and never looked back. Uh, the truth is I admired you Sal from the first time we met. Your wicked sense of humour and your lovable character is something really special. You're, you're everything I could ask for in a wife Sal honestly and, um, and so much more. I feel like the luckiest man today. We didn't write our own vows, but I want to make a few promises to you, so okay? I promise to make you feel safe and loved every day. I promise to be the best father for Phoebe that I can be, but also to moan every single day about how tired it makes me. Yeah. I promise that, we'll, um, I promise that we, we will argue about silly things, but I promise never to go to sleep angry. I promise to make you laugh every day, even if it's just while rolling your eyes and repeating, shut up, you're not funny. <laughs> And I promise to support you in anything and everything you choose to do. I love you every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> Raise your glasses to Sally. <laughs>
those of you who don't know me, I'm Justin, and this is a natural shake topped up with a bit of nervousness. I've known Rob since year four from my primary school, and what a long 20 years it's been. People often describe Rob as caring, kind, thoughtful, and fun to be around. But today I'm going to give you a realistic view of the Rob I've known since we were this big, and now, well, still this big. <laughs> <laughs> On reflection, I think we had a pretty great childhood. We'd spend many evenings together either building our five-star treehouse out of pallets left on the roadside or random bits of wood we'd find. There have been many summer days out on bike rides thinking up excuses as to why we were late home to our parents. Stopping off at Merrington's with our two-pound pocket money to buy lots of sweets. Through to our teenage years, where Rob was known by the girls for his strong physique and six-pack which sadly, for Sally caught her eye and then fast became a bit belly with many grey hairs. <laughs> he settled. All jokes aside, I feel privileged to be standing here today as your best man. It's been amazing watching you grow as a person over these years and being responsible enough to be a father to the wonderful Phoebe and not forgetting Henley and Betsy. You've been an incredible friend to me and great support over these past 20 years. I'm so glad you ended up with Sally. You both mean a lot to me and to all of us here. I just want to finish this speech by toasting to Rob and Sally and sending her the best of luck on becoming a Patterson. We know you're going to have a long and happy life together. I've been losing so much time Cause it's you and me and all other people with nothing to do and nothing to lose And it's you and me And all other people And I don't know why I can't keep my eyes over you All of the things that I want to say just aren't coming out right Tripping words Got my head spinning I don't know where to go from here Cause it's you and me And all other people With nothing to do Nothing to prove And it's you and me and all of the people And I don't know why I can't keep my eyes off of you There's something about you now I can't quite figure out Everything she does is beautiful Everything she does is It's you and me And all of the people With nothing to do Nothing to lose And it's you and me And all of the people And I don't know why I can't keep my eyes up